Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the MetaNerd channel. I am Marcus, bringing you another video for Carfight Vanguard Overdress. In this video, of course, we're going to go through the DBT-03 support card for the Ice Cream Fox himself. Magnolia. Magnolia for this set uh, does not really receive a lot of support because most of their support goes to Zorga as well as the new Flakberg. But Magnolia does receive some support that actually boosts its old support cards, which I will talk about when we go through the support cards. Let's get started. The first, of course, is a normal order card. In search of an ideal far away, choose one of your units and until the end of the battle, it gets auto Vanguard Rearguard Circle. When your other units attack, this unit gets 5k power until end of turn. Now, this normal order card has a really, really great synergy with Gunusla, which is the DBT-01 triple R support for Magnolia. So, of course, as we know, Magnolia's deck can attack for six times after Magnolia or Persona rise. Gunusla, if you target this normal order card to Gunusla, Gunusla will be getting a total of 20k power because, of course, you would want to transfer this power to the last attacking rear guard. So I'm just gonna assume that you're gonna attack four times and then. Gunusla will be attacking on the fifth time in order to pass the 20k power to the last attacking rear guard. Of course, this po does power up one or two of your attacker depending on how many Gunusla is available to you as well as how many counter blasts is available to you. And what's more, this is a free of cost normal order card. Just this is insane. This is just insane. Together with Gunusla, yeah, it's really good. <laughs> Next, of course, we have Sylvan Horn Beast Hedgic. I am utterly disappointed that they did not name this Hedgehog. Sonic. <laughs> Auto rearguard circle once per turn. When your other rearguard is placed, this unit gets 5k power until the end of turn. Now, <laughs> why why would you want to put this card at once per turn, Bushy? Why? <laughs> it's a base 5k. Means that if you call any other rearguards, that means this unit's power will be at maximum and minimum 10k power. So he is going to be a 10k booster as well as an attacker. If you want to run this card in your Magnolia deck, that is. There is really no need for the once per turn. I won't really recommend running this card unless, of course, you have nothing better to run because the value is just not there. <laughs> Next up, we have Sylvan Horn Beast Mole Mora. Auto rearguard circle. When your other rearguards attack from the back row, cost rest this unit and the unit that attack gets 10k power until the end of that battle now this card does helps with overcoming some of the defensive trigger that your opponent might get when you attack with your other rear guards you basically sacrifice one of your boosters to give another unit in the back row 10k power which might possibly be good depending on how your board is set up you might need to think a little bit before you actually attack with your formation. Also, this 10k power can be given to Gunusla once again to pass around the power. So I'm telling you, DBT-03 is Gunusla support. Most of your rearguards are gonna attack for higher and higher and higher power. Next up, we have Sylvan Horn Beast Barrow Mats. Okay. Candidus Vanguard or Vigor Circle. This unit cannot attack from the front row. This card is really, really weird if you do run it because... He's a great one and he's only at 10k and he cannot attack from the front row. Why? I mean, there are some merits to running this because he himself is going to be at 15k. But even then, don't even think about riding into this unless you are going first. I mean, you could potentially like ride this from your hand instead of the right deck because it's, since it's a 10k. So of course, he's going to be a 15k attacker with Magnolia skill. But then... Just why? Next, of course, is a Rhino. Silver and Horn Beast Rainbow. Actually, it's not a Rhino. It's more like a crossbreed between a Rhino and a Boar, right? Continuous back row rearguard circle. All of your back row rearguards gets 2k power, including this unit. This is a really strong back row formation unit. By having three Rin Blue at the back row, all of your back row is gonna get 6k power. It's for free. How much power that is? Well, I mean, not a lot, but then still, power! For free! I re definitely recommend you playing this card. This 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 card is just insane. It does enable some of your back row to hit for magic number or hit past the defensive trigger that your opponent might 
get. And not to mention, if you do want to play Gunosla, yes, that power could be passed around to another attacker by Gunosla skill. However, this will, of course, minus the power gain that you can give from Rinbu because you could only give 2k power to all of your back row rear guards. So if Gunosla is in one of the back row, means that you will only have two Rinbu and therefore only give 4k power to each of your back row rear guard, which is still good. Next is the double R, Sylvan Horn Beast Anver. Although when this unit is placed on rear guard circle or put on guardian circle, if your Vanguard is Silver Horn Beast King Magnolia, this unit gets 5k power and 5k shield until the end of turn. Auto back row rear guard circle. At the end of the battle this unit attack, you may return this to your hand. Now, this card is pure insanity and really, really, really good for Magnolia. This card provides you with offense as well as defense. What I mean by that is that, of course, he himself is going to be at 18k with the skill of Magnolia giving Enver the power to attack from the back row. And of course, there's the 5k. So in total, it will be an 18k. And as well as he does returns to your hand at the end of that battle that this unit attacked. And what's even insane is that this unit is a 10k shield unit. Value. Massive, massive value. And not only that, you could actually combo this card with Wild Intelligence, the other card from DBT02, which you're able to play one Condor Blast, mill the top three cards of your deck, and Sapiro call up to two units from your drop zone to your rearguard circle. If you call two Enver, that's a 20k shield to your hand and, and minimum 18k attacker. Wow, this unit is so good. I can't express how much of a fan I am of this card, but sadly, I don't play Stoikea. <laughs> Lastly, of course, we have the double R. There's no triple R from Magnolia. That's a bit sad. Silver Horn Beast Garbrag. Auto Rigor Circle. When your other unit in the same column as this unit attack costs Soul Blast 1, and this unit gets 10k power until the end of turn. Choose all of your opponent's rear guards, and for the battle that this unit attack this turn, your opponent cannot call cards with the same grade as the chosen unit from their hand to Guardian Circle. Yeah, this card is potentially going to be the most dangerous attacker in the history of Vanguard. Of course, it's somewhat reliant on what your opponent has on the board. So if your opponent is being very smart, he would not call a great one to the field or basically put the great one to soul or return the great one back to hand because you are choosing a great one rear guard. Your opponent could not throw down a PG for the attack this unit is attacking. I would actually recommend you put this unit behind the Vanguard because most of the time Magnolia is going to attack first to give your back row rear guards to attack from the back row and you could therefore trigger Garbrek skill. If your opponent does see that you have Garbrek and if it's not behind the Vanguard most of the time and if you don't attack attack with the side rear guard first. This means that your opponent will most likely try to intercept their stuff away or basically return some of their rear guards back to hand. But then of course, if you put it behind the Vanguard, that's a different story because Magnolia always wants to attack first, which will therefore trigger Gabrek skill. And of course, as mentioned before, intercept as well as blitz order bypass this unit's card restrict because it only says your opponent cannot call cards from their hand. Intercept is not calling from the hand. Blitz order is placed on the order zone instead of guardian circle. And that is all for this video. Do let me know down in the comment section of what do you think for the new and improved Gunasla support. Do like and subscribe if you like this video. And do remember to bring the bell notification icon so that you don't miss a video I upload. With that being said, I'll see you all on the field.